Hi everybody, Alex Apollo here from Expert Forex and in today's video I'm going to show you how to create wealth by learning a very simple and easy trading technique. So this is a follow on from this particular video that's on your screen right now. If you have not watched this video, please go and watch it first. It explains the technique in a lot of detail. The technique does not use direction. You don't need to know which direction the market is moving. That's what's so fantastic about it. And there it is. Please go and watch this video because this is a follow on to this video. And in this one, I'm going to take a slightly different approach. So in the previous video, I explained how the standard deviation indicator works and how you trade it. So in this video, I'm going to show you a little bit more about what the indicator does and why it is so successful. I'm going to show you how to create the indicator and then save it for future use. Then we're going to look at how to automate some aspects of this fantastic technique. And then I'm going to show you how you can be kept up to date about the development of this technique and the fantastic tools that get that get developed in the process. Don't run away when you see these mathematical things, but this basically explains how the technique works. Once you've got this central line, you the tool works out deviations from there. So there are basically, on the, in this case, one deviation, two deviations, three deviations. And this applies not only to trading, but to a whole lot of other things where it says, statistically, when you have the middle line established, then price action will mainly happen one standard deviation away from that middle line. So don't have to, you don't have to worry about having to calculate anything that's already done for you. And then 95, now 95 is a big number of the price action will happen within two standard deviations of the line. And then 99.7% of price action will happen between those, uh, the next deviation, which is the third deviation. So let me show you this on a chart. Okay, so here we have, there we have the previous uh, illustration. So here you see it on a chart. So there is the midline, the, uh, the green line is the midline. So what we're saying is 68% of, of the price action will happen in this blue area that you see here. And then 95% of the price action will happen in this air, the, the blue area and this pink area that you see here. And then 99% of the price action will happen uh, uh, in this third area, the, the combined third area. So it's not that complicated. And on the screen, you can see that the price actually never went into these pink ones. It never did get to the 90% level, which is the whole point. There is, if you know this information, you know where the price action is going to be captured. And then your trading techniques can deal with those. Because all you do is when it hits one of those, you, you uh, trade from there back to the midline trade from there back to the midline, trade from there back to the midline, trade from there. If it doesn't go back to the midline, you trade the next touch and it will go back to the midline. So the midline calculation is important and it's all done for you. So this is how this trading technique works. It is so easy. You don't have to think. Everything's calculated for you. All that needs to happen is that you trade when the price hits the first de deviation but you trade back to the center line. Once you've got that center line in place, boy, things become. So how do you set this indicator up? It's a free indicator that is on MetaTrader 4 or and 5. So, so I'm going to show you how, how to set it up if you are trading manually. And after I've shown you, it should look something like this. It will have a midline. It will have the, the first deviation the second deviation and the third deviation. Okay, so let's go right into it. On your screen, you can see a daily chart of the Aussie New Zealand. And there it is, in fact, the same chart that I showed earlier. And it, this is a blank one, so we're gonna be working with this one. Okay, so let's start setting it up. I'm gonna set the indicator up for as much as we can see on the chart. 
Now it's not quite a year, it's pretty close to a year, but let's set it up. So what I do is I go to insert channels, standard deviation. I start at the end here and I pull it to where I want it to end, which is over there. And there I have a standard deviation level. So what I'm going to do now is I go in, this is not an indicator, this is an object. So I go into object, I activate it and I say edit. And let's have a look. The colors I used was, were red. So I, I'll go red. Or maybe that doesn't really matter. That's red. And uh, I will keep it a, a, a thin one. Um, and then we go to parameters. I like rays. And I'll show you later why I do. And I'm going to set this for the first deviation. So it's one deviation away so now we're going to see the chart changed slightly so we go okay all right so there's our first standard deviation line it, now it doesn't look like the one that i've shown you but the, now the trick is you've got to add more of the same ones to the chart so i go in again i go go insert i say channels i say standard deviation i start over there pull it all the way to the end and there we are they virtually on top of each other these two and the and so i go into objects now i know that's the last one i created i activate it i edit it and i make that two and I, in our example we use blue so I, i'll change this to blue something like that and we say okay so now we have the one deviation line and we have the two deviation line so we just add the next one so we go close do exactly the same thing we go insert channel standard deviation we st we start over here and we go all the way right to the end and you'll see all of the uh, that center line almost falls on top of each other. We then go and change the settings. And this one is a green one. So we say object, object line, activate it, edit. And this is green, which is most probably that one there. And we go parameters and we say, all right, we want three. And we say... Okay, so there are the three lines created. There's the indicator created for you. And we've done a lot of work. So what we do is we save this one. So, so what I do is I go right click. This is, an, I'll create a template. And I say save template. Now there is already the template that I saved. So uh, I'm going to just save this, um, save this uh, over the previous one. So this is template standard deviation one two three template. I say yes, save. I'm going to say we already have it. So I say yes, save over it. And now we have our template. So what we can do now is we can change the. The, the, the time frame I'm, and I'm going to change the time frame uh, it's going to be quite interesting um, I'm going to uh, change the time frame and I'm also going to you can change the currency now so whenever you use this template on another chart and let's just do that uh, let's just uh, say uh, let's open a, a, a yen chart and uh, we say all right now I load the template template you will see those lines and then change it to daily because that looks weird and not, not like that. So there are the lines on the yen, for instance. The yen recently bro broke out of the second level and almost touched the third level. There's an extreme trend that just recently happened. But most of the price action happened in the, the first, first deviation there. So that's how you change the um, the currency the other thing is, is the, and which will be quite interesting for you to see is that if you look at this daily chart here and we change it to 
a, a four hour chart and I'm going to do that and we make it small so that it fits more or less the same size it doesn't change the actual these lines do not change so that so they are not dependent on the, the time frame they are dependent on the time that you use to draw them just that's a very interesting point here time frame doesn't change the deviations it's the look back period the the period from when you've started which is over there back to let's say a year ago that is what determines those lines okay so that's been my first objective is just to show you firstly how to create the multiple standard deviation channels and then to save it as a template that you can use over and over and over again okay so you've seen that more or less that the template was exactly as shown on the screen i think this one used a slightly smaller look back period but that is how you do it it doesn't really matter the the center line doesn't change you know people say oh this is a repainting indicator it doesn't matter it doesn't change much as time moves on the biggest thing here is and we're going to look at that in future videos is how to change those time frames to make it a scalping time frame so you look, only look back one week and based on the one week you 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 can create a a, a template that you can use for for scalping or like this one we want to use it for swing trading now some traders take it even further they actually create half deviation lines so you, you have your mean which is over there then you have a half deviation or one deviation one and a half uh, uh, two two uh, two and a half and three that actually creates more trading opportunities because more of the trading is concentrated around the middle line using that particular one like over there recently there's a lot of trading happening in within the first deviation so they capture a lot more transactions so this is my template number two okay so we've got a quite a few automation plans ahead we're going to firstly do a table of all the trading instruments that show the mean line and the standard deviations from the mean line and that will give us a, an idea of the risks of trading various instruments by knowing the width of that big channel some currencies have a very small width of only 300 pips others have a very big width of in the thousands so you need to know that information to get an idea of where you can capture 70 percent of the trading that that is an important bit of information that you need the other thing is that we're going to uh, create downloadable indicators a lot more flexibility you can tell it how many levels you want and you can tell it how far back the look look back period should be so a lot more flexibility you can use this indicator to do scalping or swing trading very quickly because you just load it on the chart and tell it what you wanted to do none of the manual stuff that we did today and then the next extension obviously is a self-trading robot that will just trade these trades when it touches a, a, a deviation line it will trade back to the center line okay so we've covered uh, all the points here mentioned explain uh, the, how it works how to create it we've done that discussions about automation and then the last one is how can you be kept up to date with developments so in the the description of this video and in the first commentary of the video there will be a link where you can click on and you can start participating in the standard deviation trading the first thing that you'll be able to download are those two templates that i've mentioned before that those are fantastic templates you could just download those ones and we're going to keep you up to date about the automation aspect where you can we're going to be developing those various indicators and the automation of this particular ea so just click on the link that's provided in the description and in the first commentary and you will 
given be given that opportunity now i hope you've learned a bit from this video please if you haven't watched that previous the previous video please go and watch it where there will be a, another follow-up video which goes into the trading in a lot more detail so from me alex deploy cheerio